Hey everybody, I have got a quick video with 10 really good clones that will save you a ton of money. Before we get into this, remember to subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Also, let me know down in the comments what would you pick to add to this list. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. First up, we got a brand new release from Alharamane. Alharamane, they just released three in the Detour Noir line. This one is Detour Noir Exclusif. It is a latent exclusif clone, and it is actually really good. It's not quite as potent or oody or piney as the Fragrance World clone of exclusif. Uh, Anakid, I believe is what that one's called. Uh, so this one's a little more mass pleasing, a little more palatable, probably not as close to the original, but still really good Detour Noir Exclusif. Next up, this one's an oldie but a goodie, a really great clone, again from All Haramain of Creed Aventus. This one is La Venture. This is kind of like Fruity Aventus. Not going to get a lot of smoky or birchy kind of feel. It's more fruity, bright. If you like Fruity Aventus, this one is a banger and very inexpensive, like low 20s usually. This next one is great. This one is a clone of Parfums de Marly, one of their best fresh fragrances. It's a clone of Parfums de Marly Sedley. This is Latafa's Mahir Legacy. Sedley is sort of a bright, juicy, citrus, and mint uh, kind of blue fragrance from Parfums de Marly. This one's very similar. Differences being this one's got a little bit of warm spiciness in the dry down. Sedley does too, but this one's got significantly more. Great pickup. Again, really inexpensive. All right, this next one, insanely inexpensive because again, this is a Parfums de Marly clone. It's a clone of Godolphin, their leather fragrance, but this one is Maison Alhambra's Galatea. And it's a really good clone. You know, this fragrance is in the realm of like an ombre leather, Tuscan leather, something like that, maybe a little more towards Tuscan, except it's more aromatic. So there are some differences and they did a really good job of nailing that DNA. And again, this is like a $25 or less fragrance. All right, next up, another one that is just unbelievable what you get for the price. This is a clone of one of the more expensive Dior designer fragrances, I'm talking about Sauvage Elixir. Everybody knows this one by now. This is Latafa Assad. And it's uh, maybe a little easier going than the Dior because it's got a little bit more vanilla, a little bit more sweetness, but it's still pretty dang close. 85 to 90%, something like that. Latafa Assad. This is a fantastic pickup. Super cheap as well. This one you can now get for very inexpensive, less than $30. I've even seen it in the mid-20s. This is a beautiful clone of Yves Saint Laurent Tuxedo. This is Fragrance World's Suits. I've got three clones of Tuxedo now, and this one is my favorite because of price point, accuracy, so good. Patchouli, vanilla, pepper, a little bit of a leathery vibe, really good stuff, Suits. Okay, this next one, if you can find it, it does periodically come in stock. This one is a clone of Mandarino Diamalfi by Tom Ford, really expensive fragrance. This is Just Jack, which is a branch of Armoff, Amalfi Coast. This is such a good, sweet, citrus, green fragrance, a real green aromatic heart, perfect for warmer weather as we're getting on into the spring and towards summer. Amalfi Coast, it is excellent. All right, next up, another just, I mean, I'm telling you, these are serious money savers right here. This one is a clone of a fragrance that's going to run you upwards of a couple hundred dollars for the 100 ml. This is a clone of Nishane Ani, or Annie, one of my favorites from the house. This is Latafa's Nashit. People have complained about performance with this one, but I've had this one for about a year and it's easily an eight hour fragrance, very accurate to the original vanilla, ginger, uh, some lemon in there, sort of a spicy gourmand vanilla, excellent, excellent fragrance. Next up, 
This one is a clone of a Juliet Has a Gun fragrance, Vanilla Vibes. I actually got rid of the niche because the performance on me was pretty terrible. This one's got great performance. This is Dossier's Aquatic Vanilla. It's basically kind of like a suntan lotion vibe with a lot of vanilla and a little bit of coconut. This one is on me. <clears throat> Believe it or not, it's a 12-hour fragrance. I don't even understand that, but it is. Aquatic Vanilla by Dossier. And finally, number 10. This one is another one that's well-known. It's an oldie, but a goodie. It deserves to be in here. You can get this fragrance for around the mid-30s, and it is a killer clone of Creed's Silver Mountain Water. I'm talking about Armoff's Club de Nuit Siage. To me, it's got a touch of a Middle Eastern spin, which I really love, and this is another one that is nuclear performer. It's got that inky kind of tea vibe. It's got something that's a little bit smoky, spicy as well, a couple hours in, but another one that's a 12-hour fragrance on me, Club de Nui Siage. So that's been 10 great clones that are really gonna save you money, but let me know in the comments what would you add to the list, and remember to subscribe if you haven't. I got videos like this coming out every couple days. I'm Justin, this is Siage Sense.